Uh, it's just amazing how they have so much cooperation. The 20th annual Gold Rush Trail Dog Sled Mail Run was a big success this year, with dog teams and mushers from North America participating in the three-day event. I caught up with the teams on day two at Troll Ski Resort and learned a thing or two about sled dogs, the mail run, and mushing. Well, the, the principle behind the mail run has uh, been somewhat dynamic over the last 20 years. This is the 20th anniversary. Uh, it's been a race, it has been a participation event, and it has been a variation of both. We have mushers coming from all over North America, uh, as far away from us as uh, Oregon, uh, Saskatchewan, Ontario, uh, a lot of mushers obviously from BC and Alberta. Um, many of the people uh, coordinate their whole training season to be able to participate at the event here. Historically, obviously in Canada, dog sleds and uh, mushers have been instrumental in, in building uh, a lot of northern Canada and uh, us representing the fact that uh, mail was carried by dog team for, for many, many years in Canada up into the 60s um, just sort of continues that tradition and, and shows the importance and heritage of dog mushers and dogs. It turns out that dog sledding can be a family affair. Terry Houghton from Fort St. James has been running teams since 1969. I, I can sort of hold on my chest. I won the first 330 mile race they had here in 1974. So there's three generations of us in this race. Craig Houghton, uh, he's number three, bib number three, and my grandson here, bib number 18. When I started off with dogs, we fed we cooked up oat groats and mixed it with beef tallow. And that's what we fed the dogs. And some meat if we could get some. Nowadays, the, uh, the research has gone in nutrition. There's got to be at least 30% good protein and 20% fat. Anything less than that, and they won't feed it. Most of the dog food you buy off the, uh, the grocery store, they wouldn't feed their dogs. What is it about the dogs that you like? Um, so, where they run? And how powerful they are. Anna Knutson from Saskatchewan has also been racing for years, and she explains the types of dogs that make a good team. I run Alaskan Huskies, which is basically a mixture of of anything that is uh, um, fast running and nice, and have uh, some brains in their heads. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You need you need. Um, well-mannered dogs because they're going to be around lots of dogs they need to be well-mannered they need to be um, strong and fast and have good feet good coats and oh. that was awesome it is it's uh it's very unique uh last place uh, around that you can actually have a piece of canada post mail go and be delivered by a dog team and uh, and it is actually uh, mail that goes through the postal system so uh, thanks to Canada Post and uh, and uh, come out and enjoy it uh, so it's just going to be a, a great day here at Troll. From the Gold Rush Trail Dog Sled Mail Run, I'm John McKenzie.